Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have something to say, leave me a comment. I read every single comment. When I heart it, that means I read it. When I get a chance, I try to go back and reply to you guys. If I don't, sometimes I incorporate the questions or whatever into a video. Um, and also guys, if you are not following me on my Facebook page, it is Miss Serenity Smith. And it's actually my page, not my profile on Facebook. If you would go and click like so that you can get notifications when I post, that's where I'll be posting available babies on there. And also guys, I always post in the charter box, which is my paid channel membership which you can join for $4.99. And now that that took up a whole minute to tell you all those things, I still forgot one other thing. Follow me on Instagram, Miss Serenity Smith Babies as well. Um, but now that I've done all of that, I am here to show you guys Baby Nori. And Baby Nori, as you guys know, is one of my forever, ever, keep, keep, keepsake babies that I painted and one day we'll eventually get some hair but today ain't it. So I'm gonna get in here. I just I, I just wanted to pop on here and just show her little uh, romper that I put her on. Um, I, I was uh, looking through some things trying to find I think a sleeper to put the giveaway baby in so that I can um I was so I can get the baby packed up to go and uh, while I oh yeah that's right I need to get the COA thing well it's kind of like I guess it's COA it's a real boring thing but anyway um so I was doing it and I came across this little rumper and I was like oh this look like Nori could fit it so at first I was thinking the new baby um uh kit and then I was like oh no Nori might can fit this so and I I love her in purple so I thought it would be so much fun to uh put her in this so I wanted to come on and show her so Nori Nori is only 14 and a half inches and she's a micro preemie and she's just a little old thing right um but the fun thing the cool thing about Nori is that even though she's little she can still fit into a lot of little things like from the preemie store um sometime like if i have preemie clothes that's been you know like washed and they shrink down a little bit she can fit that stuff um the up to five pounds from carter's sometime that stuff will actually fit her she definitely can fit like, you know, some of the little uh, preemie hats. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, so and my uh, my Nori has armatures in her arms and her legs. And um, for a lot of people, I was uh, actually talking to someone about this uh, the other day. The armatures will kind of stiffen their movement a little bit. But to be honest, for me, with a baby this little, I don't mind as much um, because I'm not going to be holding her as much. So I, I really want her more so for like posing and stuff. So, um... But even I, I was able to find out later that even without the armatures, uh, the Nori kit can pose really, really uh, nice still. So anyway, I know it looks like I'm doing being really rough when I turn it like that with my hands. But yeah, so like I said, so this is a little outfit. Let me show you guys. It's so cute. I, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so cute. I just think it's so cute. Um, I ain't even looking to see what it looked like. The back, she, she don't have a whole lot of. Um, <laughs> see, I 
don't got no real bump bump back there. So it's a it's a little baggy, but not too much. But I just thought it was just really cute. Uh, when they this little, listen, you get excited about the slightest little thing that they can, you know, fit in, even if it's a little bit big on them. Which, you know, like we say all the time, with the little ones, newborn and uh, preemie, most of that stuff don't fit anyway, so that makes it even more realistic. It's usually kind of baggy on them anyway. And she can have a bottle. You have the bottle? Ooh. You don't have a bottle. She don't want it. She don't want it. Yeah. But yeah. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys. She is just so cute, sweet. And then like her, I don't know, I'm probably blocking the light. But the good thing about it is even though the armatures restrict <laughs> movement of like her arms and stuff her head is still wobbly her midsection it's still soft and she got a, a jelly belly so oh that looks like it hurts you pull the baby tummy but yeah i love these armatures i just that's all i do is play with these armatures <laughs> and everybody like i said armatures aren't for everybody because um, everybody don't want a baby that's so, uh, posed and, you know, like, stay in one position. Most people, when they get silicone, they think floppy, jiggly, wiggly, and that's what they want. They want that experience. They don't want the whole, um, locked in one place and stuff. Because see, because she has armatures, if I pick her up, her legs gonna stay just the way they are. Her arms gonna stay just the way they are. But if she didn't have armatures, they'll be they'll be falling and unfolding, you know. And despite what some people say, like as far as oh the um armor the uh, not having armatures and the soft jiggly silicone is not realistic and. All the different stories that I've heard about it. But when you have a baby without the armatures and arms fall and hang down or whatever. That's kind of like a real baby when if they're not really like have good coordination. They they will dangle. Their legs will dangle. Little stuff like that. Um, very rare is a baby going to like just keep itself tight in one position no matter which way you turn it upside down or not um but babies do stay in you know balled up position y'all know what i'm saying but anyway um so all i'm saying is with armatures or without armatures these babies are just fun to have especially my nori i i listen i like preemies and micro preemies and vinyl <clears throat> depending on the sculpt but silicone is like my favorite for the small babies like I think they are so cool and I don't know why I just enjoy painting them so much <clears throat> sorry I just enjoy painting them so much but anyway I am going to do a video later I probably I don't know I probably won't show I don't know I might show it on here but I'm going to show a baby that I was working on and it just went south and it just I'm just so irritated with myself. I can't believe that I did that. I was trying to go darker and I messed it up. So, let me see if I can show. But I ain't really want to do this in this video. I'll show it later in another video. I'll give y'all just a little a little Peaky peaky, it was. I'm gonna show the limbs. It's just not. Look at this. Yep. Don't look nothing like my work to it. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, that's it.
that's about as much of embarrassment I can take for one day. Um, I thought I had ruined my full body silicone baby as well, trying to go darker, but she still got some life. I just, I haven't finished her all the way to really assess her completely. But I think I love her. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm very sleepy and tired. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Nori. And um, I will see you guys at a, talk to you guys on a later date. I'll zoom in onto her little her face, the lighting. <laughs> oh, piggies. She look, I love her in purple. Like, I love, love, I love, love her in purple. I don't know why, but I do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.